Yeah, I think the, the new vision is very similar to the old vision. It's that of looking for, is there a market? Is there potential for a ultra-safe, um, small reactor using high-temperature technology? Um, how did it come about? When Mr. Maleffi came into ESCOM, he reviewed what ESCOM had stopped doing over the last few years and asked the question of, have we really thought about why we closed the PMR down? And was it technical, commercial, or was it, in his view, was it was neither of those things. It, it was a mixture of many things. And we were asked to look back at the project again and see if there was a better solution going forward. This project is not a resuscitation of the PMR project. It's based upon the PMR technology, what we learned doing that. Um, at the moment, it's literally a, a, a largely minor engineering, minor uh, sort of research lab scale work, and it will stay that way for, for some time to come. But yes, it looks at taking advantage of what's happened in the last 30 years. We started again, we started the clean sheet. We didn't, we tried to avoid for the first bit. It's, made, I mean, it's a very paper study with, with limited research funding going into it, so it's but got more emotion than money at the moment. And so we're looking at a much more, a much simpler plant um, and a much more um, efficient plant than we had last time. Um, we certainly haven't seen a marketplace, uh, a, a competitor in the marketplace who has filled the hole that Piedma was trying to fill. And there was much interest, once you get over the stage of building the first couple of machines, it looks like there's much interest in, in people buying that kind of machine. It would certainly fit into an African grid situation, it would certainly fit into a small grid it would certainly also fit in terms of, of, of load following into a, um, a grid with a large amount of renewable um, intermittent generation. So clearly the last PMR was meant to take a pre-existing commercial package, rearrange it, put it in the marketplace. That was quite a quick process. Um, this one is looking much more of a research project, pushing ourselves into a bit more on the bleeding edge, which the last one wasn't particularly. Um, and realistically, at the moment, the view would be that we are looking at potentially having a proof of concept machine, that's a, a research machine running by the mid-2020s, if things went well, and then potentially putting commercial rollout probably 10 years after that. Uh, as to where to deploy them, because that's a question you asked there as well, um, look, their power Eskom is a power generating business. And then if you're looking at the late 2030s, then possibly replacing the coal stations um, with uh, the high temperature reactors.